hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to create this random color generator using vanilla JavaScript as you can see every time I refresh the page a new set of colors is generated also the design is fully responsive so as you can see as I resize my page the number of colors in the row changes also you can click the clipboard icon to copy the color code so as you can see as I clicked it the code was copied so without wasting any time let's get started so to get started I have empty index.html with a CSS and JavaScript file linked to it they are also empty so let's open it up in our live server okay let's create a container inside that I'm going to have a h1 that will say random colors Okay, let's give our container some styles so let's copy this and for now let's just say it should have a max width of 300 pixel and we can center it by saying margin to zero auto and as you can see it was centered also I'm going to give it some padding so we can say padding padding should be 3 viewport width okay now all the colors that will generate will be inside a div called random colors okay let's create a basic bare bone of our color card so the card will have a class of random color let's close this and this part this colored card box should have a class of color box and then we have the color data so we can say dot color dash data inside that we have code which is the color code so for now let's say something like RGB RGB something like 255 146 and 10 21 and it will also have a copy to clipboard button so we can have a span and it will have a class of button and for the clipboard you can use font awesome but since we are only ha only have one icon so I can sim just copy the emoji code for the clipboard icon which is this one and if we save it as you can see we got the clipboard icon and our basic markup so let's style it so the the card will have some box shadow so we can say box shadow it should be 0 from the x axis 2 from the y axis and I am going to give it a 10 pixel spread and the color will be something like this so let's see ok let's also give it some border radius so we can say border radius to 5 pixel now let's go to our color box which is this one just to test it let's give it some background color so we can say oops let's copy it again let's give it a background color of something like red we can see it because it doesn't have any height so let's try to type something here so hello and now it's visible so we want to give it some padding tops so it has some height so we can say padding top for now let's say 30% and now we can remove the hello text also here we, sh we can say overflow to hidden ok now, now the code data will also have some padding so we can copy this ok we have spelled it wrong so it should be code data or color data so we can say a padding of 1 em and it will also have a display of flex and I'm going to align everything centered 
and justify to space between okay let's go to the code we are going to make it bold so we can say dot code a font weight of bold and let's also change the font family so we can say okay let's go here so we can say body to have a font family of whatever you like so like so now we are going to have multiple cards so let's copy this as you can see they are below each other so we don't want that so let's grab the container which is the random colors this will have a display of grid so we can say display to be grid and for the grid template columns we are going to use the repeat function and we are gonna use auto fit and this should have a mean width of 180 pixel and a max width of one fractional unit so let's see what happened okay three, 300 pixel is not enough so let's say 600 and now you can see they are stacked beside each other so we want some gap so we can say grid gap So the grid get gap could be 1 em or 1.5 em okay now it looks good but now we need some more padding top so we can say something like 8 80 percent let's see how that looks okay it looks good now instead of 600 pixel we, we, i want to say 90 percent so 90 percent of available width and now it will also be fully responsive since we use the min max function yes okay so this was all for the HTML and CSS now we want the JavaScript so for now let's delete all of them except just one we'll have it as a reference so let's comment it out now in our JavaScript file first we need to generate a random color so for that we have we'll create a function called random color And this will generate a random RGB color so we can say let R equals to a random number between 0 to 255 same with the G and the B and lastly we'll return that return a string of RGB values so if we just console log as you can see we get a random color Okay, now we now let's target this container so it, it is it has a class of random colors so co let's copy that and we can say something like let container equals to document dot query selector and our container had a class of random colors now we have to just populate that with the HTML so we can say function generate colors so this will go through a loop let's say we want to generate 10 colors so we'll say i is less than 10 and i plus plus so for each time we loop we want to add a new color card in our container so we can say something like container that in our HTML plus equals to and this will have this card markup markup of, of our color card so let's copy this And now if we call the generate color function mm. 
as you can see 10 color cards was appended but they're all same color we don't want that so let's say let color equals to a random color and here instead of a static value we want to say the generated color so we can simply say color and as you can see now every of them has the random color we also want this box to have that color so we can say style equals to background color and the background color will be the generated color so we can simply say color and now as you can see every time we refresh a random color is generated now instead of doing the 10 times we can say let max limit so max underscore limit equals to window dot inner width And divided by something like 30 so let's see and here instead of saying 10 we can say max limit and now as you can see the number of color is dependent on the inner width so in small screen there will be less amount of color generated and in bigger screen there will be more amount of color cards generated okay now we just have to make the copy to clipboard button work so let's create a copy to clipboard function so we can say function copy to clipboard and this will take color as argument so for now we can simply alert the color And so when the button is clicked we want to say on, on click equals to and we'll run the copy to clipboard function so let's pass that here and for now let's just say something like hello and now as you can see when we click on it it says hello also in the CSS we can target the button and set the cursor to pointer so now when we hover on the card, the cursor becomes pointer. Okay. So we don't want hello, we want to pass the code. So we can say again do dollar sign and then we say color. And now it alerts whatever the color code is. So now we just have to copy that to our clipboard. To do that we can simply say navigator.clipboard dot write text and the color and the color code will be written in our clipboard or copied to our clipboard so if we now cop click on here let's see as you can see the color code was copied so that's gonna be it for today guys i hope you like this video if so don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time